The sunflower is the national flower of Ukraine. It's also become a symbol of hope. Hi, I'm Maureen Russell Hodson, and this is Springboro. Here and there we are here at Chasing Light Art Gallery, along with Shauna Hatton, who has come up with a very creative and wonderful idea to help children of Ukraine. Hi, Shauna. Hi, Maureen. So this is going to be a fundraiser and an art show. Yes. Tell us about it. All right, so it'll be uh, April 29th through May 1st at the Performing Arts Center, and it's going to have lots of artwork for sale and some for auction. Students and professional artists have donated their time and talents for this event, and all proceeds go to A Child's Hope International. So you kind of came up with this idea that you wanted to do something for children of Ukraine. How, how did the whole idea come about? Well, the uh, children of Ukraine have been on my heart as everyone, right? So um, one night I I was quiet and I had this, this image of sunflowers. And back in December, I had a, an art show at the PAC and uh, my students sold some artwork and I just saw their joy in doing that and it was infectious and I originally thought well what if I do something here same kind of thing except the proceeds go to help other kids and then it just I couldn't help build on that. It started snowballing, it started right? snowballing and <laughs> yeah. I was like I, I just pictured the PAC filled, filled with sunflowers. At first I thought, oh, I, I've never done anything like this before, so I don't know how to do this, but... Um, but you sure are learning because you're doing a great job. I, yeah, well, that's what God ideas do, you know? <laughs> I really feel like this is a God idea because I was like, oh, I'm too busy. So yeah. the show takes place April 29th through May 1st. Mm -hmm. May 1st, you're doing an artist reception yes. from 5 until 7. Uh -huh. And when we call it the PAC, it's the Performing Arts Center, yes. uh, 115 Wright Station Way. And so you're going to have, uh, I guess, amateur artists, kids, kids artwork, along with professional artwork. Right? Yes, yes. So kids artwork will be a suggested donation. Again, it goes directly to A Child's Hope International, which is a fabulous charity down in Sharonville who help orphans all over the world but they have a, this is particularly going to the Ukraine so a suggested donation for their artwork there's going to be high school students and students from modern college in Kettering they asked if they could be involved it's just been beautiful how many people have reached out to me and said can I be involved which is great so now we just need people to hopefully come support the arts and a good cause and Every piece obviously features sunflowers, yes, right? Yes, yes. Or, yeah, pretty much everything that I've seen it features sunflowers or just an honor of the, the national flower for Ukraine and showing our love and hope from across the world. So you can come beginning at 5 o'clock, but at 6, 6.30 you'll have some presentations yes. that evening as well? So I was so uh, grateful when the Pastors Association, I think it was about two weeks ago now, they contacted me and said that they would like to help out. And so uh, that's been a blessing. And they're, they're going to be presenting their own. Like have. a donation, donation or a contribution. Yes, mm -hmm. contribution at 6.30, I think, um, on May 1st. And I'm really excited about that. Um, we've had about, um, we've had quite a few people donate already online. It's through Facebook. The Facebook has a great fundraising feature that uh, Child's Hope suggested. And so people have donated um, without expecting anything in return. And people can reach that from your Facebook page, yes. right? So it's pinned to the top of my Facebook page and they can um, access that if they don't. And give us the name so that people can find it. A Chasing Light art studio and gallery. Okay, so you can go directly there and make a donation. Yes. And all of the artists have donated their work as well. Yes, so artists have been so generous. We, um, we have photographers, we have um, ceramicists, um, painters, um, multimedia artists, and encaustic artists, um, all donating prints or, or original pieces. And uh, so those will be available. And we're working out whether we can do a silent auction with such a short time period, or if we have to do old school kind of auction, that part is yet to re remains <laughs> right <laughs> to be seen, to be determined. But to, to be determined because the fees, you know, we want all the money that we can to go to the cause and not to an exorbitant amount of fees. Yeah. 
And so when people go, so again, so on, you're installing the day before, but on Friday, the um, Performing Arts Center is open from 8 a.m. until 4 p.m. You can come in and take a look. Certainly then on Sunday, May 1st, from 5 until 7, we welcome people to come in and they can, it's actually kind of like cash and carry, right? You can take the piece home with you right then. Yeah, so we just figured out this part today where um, we're gonna have a couple of stations with, um, laptops where you can have help. You can certainly do it on your phone as well, but we would like to help you. We'll have uh, those marked by balloons or whatever. And so if you take, you know, little Johnny's um, tag and you bring it to the checkout, somebody will be there to help you check out and, you know, suggest a donation of $20. You enter your information and it goes right there. And you don't have to hang around. You can take it uh, and leave. Um, the, again, the auction part of it with the professional artists, the, we're working through how that's gonna, that piece is gonna work. And you can also just go and make donations. If, yes. if, if you don't think you would want a piece of artwork, which is fine, yes. but you can still know that you're making a difference by making a contribution to this organization. Yes, and the people I've been working with at a Child's Hope, they're just so incredibly grateful that, that we're helping. So we've got the place, we've got the artists lined up. We need you, yes. right? We yes. need people to come need and support come. this and help make donations and just really fill that place with sunflowers and sunshine. Sunflowers, sunshine, <laughs> and joy. Who doesn't need that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so again, your Facebook page is the best place to go for information. Yes, yes. Okay, and then it is, um, you can go see the artwork on Friday, April 29th from 8 until 4 and then we want to see you on Sunday May 1st from 5 until 7 at the Springboro Performing Arts Center that's at 115 Wright Station Way. Shauna thank you so much for starting this. You see where you plant a seed and literally sunflowers Seriously, grow. Seriously right? I know it's, it's amazing. Wonderful. Thank you so much and yeah. thank you to the city for for being behind this at the beginning thought felt like a crazy idea, but, um, but together we can beautiful. all make a difference, it's true. right? It's true. It takes a village. Yeah. And for more information, you can always visit our website, ci.springboro.oh.us or check us out on Facebook. Thanks for watching. And we will see you at Flowers for the Children of Ukraine.